I'm about to visit a taco restaurant that has become a staple in downtown London, and they're gonna challenge me to eat the world's hottest tacos. Let's jack up the heat at Dos Tacos. I'm here with Asad, the co-owner of Dos Tacos. So uh, please tell me all about uh, Dos Tacos. We're basically just like an express taco spot, um, you know, casual dining, quick, uh, you know, bite kind of thing. So we do tacos, taco fries, taco salads, rice bowls, nachos, uh, various different uh, protein options. So what makes uh, Dos Tacos the best tacos in London? Uh, well, once you try them, you let me know what makes them the best. But uh, basically, we use you know fresh ingredients. We make everything in-house. Um, not just fresh ingredients, but we also use premium ingredients. They come with guac standards, so we don't you know, charge you extra for the guac on the tacos, so that makes a lot of people happy. Well, if someone was coming in to Dos Tacos looking for something a little spicy, like what would you offer them? For everything that we offer on the menu, we give everybody the choice to go mild, medium, and hot. Now, the mild and medium are not spicy at all, but our hot salsa is pretty hot. It's made with habaneros. What do most people get for spice level, do you think? I'd say the most popular would be the medium, which is our tomatillo jalapeno salsa, or you know, known as salsa verde for some people. But uh, again, our uh, hot salsa is the uh, pineapple habanero salsa, so oh. it's, it's pretty good. So what's next for Dos Tacos? Our ultimate goal is to franchise and have you know, uh, many locations across uh, southwestern Ontario, Ontario, and Canada, but uh, are basically, since we, this is our only location, so next step would be opening up a second location for sure. Well, good luck with that, and let's, uh, let's go in the back and uh, make some tacos. Awesome. So what's going on now? So basically, we're battering the uh, mushrooms. So this is the uh, I'm a fungi taco that we have, or the protein option. We can have it as a taco. You can do it as a fries, salad, nachos. And we're making it as a rice bowl for you right now. We use a uh, corn flour batter, so this is gluten-free. So all the celiacs uh, love our uh, deep fried options because they can have it. So I'm just gonna head over to the fryer there. The fun guy's just uh, frying up there. So uh, what else do we put in this rice bowl? So usually we put tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, corn and beans. We use over 15 seasonings and spices in the rice all together. So okay. it, it's a white rice, but of course with all the flavoring and the spices that are in it, it comes out looking Oh yeah. Right. The mushrooms are fried. This is what they come out looking like. Nice and crispy on the outside and they're nice and soft uh, mushrooms on the inside. We're gonna hit you up with some hot salsa, habanero pineapple salsa. We'll throw in some guac on there. Gotta make sure I get some of that guac on there. I didn't tell you this before, but I'm usually not a fan of, uh, of mushrooms, but when they're deep fried like this, really good. Let's see what else you guys make. So we're gonna make you some nachos, fry our tortilla chips in-house, so they're made to order, so they're always nice, uh, fresh, and crispy. Uh, we usually start with a layer of cheese on top of the tortillas, and then we go on to put on a layer of the veggies. So we usually do the tomatoes, the onions, the bell peppers, the corn and beans. And we're gonna make you guys a, a chicken nacho. It's one of the popular ones. All of our proteins are halal, so we don't use any pork products. So after all the toppings go on there, we throw on our protein options. So after we throw on the protein, we usually go another layer of cheese. More cheese. So more cheddar cheese. And then we top it off with our cotija cheese. So okay. cotija cheese is basically like, almost like a feta cheese, but not as salty. We're gonna throw this in the oven and we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, so once the nachos come out of the oven, with the cheese melted, looking all nice, we throw on some of our chipotle mayo, as well as sour cream. I love just like the color of everything too. Throw on some of our hot like, salsa yeah. on there, a little bit of cilantro on there, and it's all good to go. All right, so we got to see how to make some delicious food here at Dos Tacos. Now we're gonna jack up the heat a little bit and make the world's hottest tacos. We got the carne asada on our yellow corn tortillas, and we're right. gonna make the yam tacos vegan for you on awesome. our blue corn tortillas. So the carne asada, that one's for our, uh, our special guest that we'll get to, uh, get to in a moment here. Everything comes on a corn tortilla standard, but if you don't like corn tortillas, we got flour tortillas as well. Okay. Why do you do two of them, two uh, tortillas? So we double it up so, you know, it holds better. Okay. Or you can make 
two tacos out of your one taco if you like. Oh. So you eat over the one tortilla, everything falls onto the next tortilla, you get a second bonus taco. That is the smartest thing I've ever heard. That's a chipotle mayo. We usually throw on our carne asada, and we're gonna All do right. the hot salsa, which is not spicy enough for you guys, so we're gonna kick it up a notch. We got a little surprise for you. So what do we got here? So we have some Carolina Reapers for you. We're gonna chop those up and throw them on your tacos. How many Reapers are we talking here? Uh, we're probably gonna do like five per taco. Five per taco? That's nice. not hot enough? Uh, I think so. I think that might do it. You can smell it. Oh, yeah. It, it's just spicy from here. I can already <laughs> smell it. I'm going to make sure I get everything on there for you. Oh, yeah, for sure. You got it, right? Every little, every little drop, all the little, all the little seeds there. So I heard the reapers are not hot enough for you. So we're going to throw on some scorpion and uh, ghost pepper on there for you as well. Awesome. Hot sauce there from, uh, Pandemic hot sauce in Huron County. They call that one uh, Run for Lake Huron. All right, so let's uh, chow down on some uh, spicy tacos. Check out the heat. All right, so we're about to eat the world's hottest tacos here at Dos Tacos. But first, let's introduce our special guest, Jeff, from Chillin' and Grillin' with Jeff. Hey, Mike. So Jeff, tell us about your uh, your TV show. Chillin' and Grillin' it with Jeff. We visit people in their backyard to see how they enjoy their space. How do they use their backyard? And we sort of start off with a tour, see what they have in their backyard. We always end up in the outdoor kitchen where we do some grilling and chilling. So how are you with uh, spicy food? I enjoy high spicy peppers and spicy food, but I'm not sure if I'm at your level, but let's find out. So these tacos here, just so you know, there's uh, five Carolina Reaper peppers on each on taco. Each and then uh, we've got some uh, hot sauce on there too from uh, sure. Pandemic uh, Hot well, Sauce out of Huron County. I don't know, I've heard we got some hot sauce. I do like stuff hot. Joe, can you? Oh, what have we got? Oh, there you go. I don't know how hot these really are gonna be, so. Yeah, it's worked might as well. It works for you, a little, little Franks on there? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. You're going all out, that's the extra hot Franks there. You just up one me and you just use the whole bottle. Yeah, but so. you have two tacos, so I feel like I have to take oh, it up a notch. Okay, okay. <laughs> Are we racing or is it just a survival thing? If I'm alive, it's just when I'm uh, done, just survival. We good to go? Let's. Uh... I, I don't know if we're good to go. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that. All right. Well, what do you think so far? <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk, but you know. I'm speechless at how delicious the tacos are. Man, they just keep getting hotter. You think it's the Franks that's doing it, or? No, I think the Franks is kind of mellowing it out a little bit. But this classic milk that just happens to be sitting here might be really good. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the hiccups. Okay, the milk works. I'm ready for another bite. You know what's the meat? They just keep getting hotter. Can you put the air conditioning on a little more? <laughs> Damn, that's some hot tacos. On a scale of one to 10, what do you consider this heat? It's actually like, like pretty decent heat, I'd say. So I'm gonna yeah, give it maybe like, some pretty decent give it like maybe like a four out of ten. You sort of go numb. That starts off where you think it's not too bad. Then it gets really bad, and then my face is numb. I have no more feeling from my waist up. As far as I can tell, I'm not even talking right now. Got one down. Doing pretty good. Definitely feel some uh, some heat on my tongue. Yeah, I have so. no more feeling on the left <laughs> side of my body. <laughs> on the left side of your body. Above the waist and the left side. I'm actually starting to enjoy it now. So how am I doing here? You're doing really good, actually. I'm impressed. There goes the right side of my body. I officially have no feeling anywhere. What do I think? One more bite? I think you got just one more bite there, maybe. I did it. Woo! I can't hear anything. I've now lost my hearing as well. Last bite? All right, the last bite. Clap it, I know. <laughs> All right, well, we survived five Carolina Reapers. There we go. Is that the hottest pepper? World's hottest pepper. World's hottest pepper. In the Guinness Book of Records, yeah. And I just ate five of them. You just ate five of them. Wow. Good job. Most people uh, can't do that. <laughs> so I just want to thank uh, Assad and everybody at Dos Tacos. Thanks, Jeff, for doing the uh, challenge with me. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time on Jack Up the Heat.